Due to sluggish exports in the latter half of this year, many question whether South Korea can accomplish another annual trade record of $1 trillion. Fortunately, the situation saw improvement last month. The Korea International Trade Association invited big buyers from abroad to hold consultation sessions with local companies. Let's look into what kind of discussions were held. Even amid negative economic prospects due to global financial crisis, South Korea exported $47.2 billion in October, posting positive growth for the first time in four months. Market watchers attributed such growth in exports to the government's recent trade measures boosting the overseas sales. The Korea International Trade Association invited big buyers from overseas to hold this year's last marketing fair. About 150 buyers, including the retail chains and private labor buyers, participated in this event. Seven Korean retail firms additionally joined the Big Buyers Club as part of the efforts to expand their sales channels through forging closer ties with leading buyers. Today we have several meetings with uh, different suppliers, so uh, I think uh, we have quite high potential to find out the suitable categories, so that could be um, developed and create the business opportunities and uh, which can export and a great uh, international business together with Hong Kong in, in Hong Kong market. About 1,000 small and medium Korean companies sell business consultation sessions with foreign buyers. Alongside the event, Korean food, kitchenware and daily goods were displayed to catch the eyes of visitors. We plan to have about 1,200 consultation sessions during this event and expect to ink about $750 million in trade contracts. This event is expected to help Korean companies to expand exports in the short term and secure overseas sales channels in the long term.